Hello everyone and welcome. If you're like me, you like to do as much of your own car maintenance as possible. One of the easiest things to do for yourself is rotating your tires or changing out your tires seasonally if you need to do that in your area. So how do you maintain accurate torquing of your lug nuts while speeding up the process? One of the things a lot of people like to use is torque limiting sticks. So how good and how accurate are torque limiting sticks? That is what I intend to find out in this video, so stick around as I unbox and test this new set of torque limiter sticks that I just got. Alright guys, so when you unbox this set, you see that it comes in a nice blow molded case to keep everything organized. And on the inside, you see everything is nicely kept in there, everything is nicely organized, so that way it's easy for you to find the one you need when you need it. So let's talk a little bit about the features of this guy, but before we get started testing this guy, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, that way you can notify every time I produce another product review video or DIY video that you may find useful. So this is the 8-piece, 1.5-inch drive torque limiting stick set from OMT, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this set retails for $52.99, but they also have a 5% discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So what do you get in this set? Well, you get four limiter sticks, the most commonly used torque settings, and you get four sockets for removing and installing your lug nuts, again, the most commonly used sizes. You get four limiter sticks at 90 foot-pounds, 100 foot-pounds, 110 foot-pounds, and 120 foot-pounds. And the sockets are, again, the most commonly used sizes, 17 millimeters, 19 millimeter, 21 millimeter, and 7 eighths. And they're all nicely marked and etched, and I'll give you a close-up view in just a moment. The sockets are six-point sockets with protective coatings to prevent abrasion and damage to your rims, and they're made from chromoly steel and are coated for resisting corrosion. These are all laser etched with the sizes so you can easily spot and identify which one you need to use. So these torque limiter sticks and sockets are great for auto enthusiasts that want to quickly change or rotate the tires on their cars without needing to use a torque wrench. This way, if you don't have a torque wrench, you know that your lugs are properly adjusted every time. Or if you simply want to speed up the process and move past having to use a torque wrench every time, these guys can help you maintain accuracy and get the job done faster. Now I know some people out there will argue that you still need to use a torque wrench after using the torque limiter sticks just to make sure that the lugs are accurately tightened down. I think that's unnecessary if you have accurate torque sticks. That is one of the things that we'll be testing today to see just how accurate these guys really are. And one thing to also point out is that if you use torque limiting sticks and then you use a torque wrench on top of that, you're more bound to change the torque setting on your lugs because each time you click that torque wrench, you're adding more torque to it. You may not think so, but it does add a tiny little bit of torque every single time you do that. So let's test these guys out and see how they perform, but before we do that, let's talk a little bit about how torque sticks work for those of you that may not know how they work. Alright guys, so let's go into a little bit of detail about how torque limiting sticks work. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail because it's just not necessary. For your common everyday use DIYer, let me just give you a brief overview and then you'll know exactly how these guys work. Believe it or not, it looks like just a big hunk of steel, but it's actually a highly calibrated piece of equipment. You'll notice on these different sticks that each one has a different size to it. They all have a set length that is exactly part of the calibration right there. But if you look at the different ones, this one is thinner and it gets a little bit thicker as it gets to the other ones. Each one has a certain thickness to it or girth to it and that's how it calibrates exactly how much torque it is going to apply because these hunks of steel are calibrated to have a certain chemistry to them well they were actually flex a little bit one thing to point out is that these guys are only meant to be used with impact wrenches either battery operated or air doesn't matter but they're not meant to be used by hand torquing doesn't work that way only with an impact wrench regardless of battery or air. So like I said, the one with the lowest amount of torque will be thinner, that way it will flex more. The whole key to the process is in the flexing of the actual torque stick. That is how it limits the amount of torque that it is applying. So let me pull out a little prop for you guys that will demonstrate how these guys work. 
This is a little piece of rubber right here. I don't know what it's for. I guess it's for yoga or something. I found it, but it makes a perfect prop for this kind of thing. You notice I put a black line on here to be able to demonstrate better how these torque sticks work. So imagine this piece of rubber being one of the torque sticks. On one end, you're going to have the lug nut that you're going to be tightening. On the other end, you're going to have the impact wrench that is going to be tightening it. So what happens is when at rest, just like they are now, you have a straight line, right? So when it starts tightening it, you get this sort of motion. This is how they flex. Now, you can flex it to an extreme, and if you go too far, you can break them. That is really possible. If you go really, really crazy on these guys, you can break them because they are meant to flex. So what happens when you have an impact wrench, air or battery, doesn't matter. Remember, it is not constant torque. It is not doing one of these things. It is hitting it with hammers. So it's doing constant, quick burst of energy like that. And that, when you first start putting in the lug, it will start rotating and just keep tightening it. Then when it gets to a certain point, then it will do one of these things. And that's how, when you get the ta -ta 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 of the hammer, you get to a certain point where the hammer will twist it, but it won't move down here at this end where the lugs are. That's how you have the torque limiting built into it. The flex built into the steel We'll do one of these numbers where it starts off at a high torque up here and gets reduced as it goes down to this end over here. So there's the limit in between caused by the flexing. So very simple design, actually really quite simple. A little bit of engineering goes into creating these sticks, but it's not some voodoo magic. It's just the flexing of the steel. That's how you go from a high impact at one end to a lower impact at the other. And they calibrate this when they actually make these guys with the kind of steel that they use, the amount of thickness in it, all that kind of good stuff, and that's how you get your accurate torque right there. So let's do a little bit of testing and we'll see how they work. All right guys, so let's do a little bit of testing of these torque sticks and see how they perform. Now let me explain the process of what I'm gonna be doing here so you understand exactly what I'm gonna be doing. First of all, I'm gonna be using the 90 foot pound torque sticks as you can see right there. And this is the 21 millimeter socket that's the one that fits my car. Now, I was gonna mark up the uh, face of this thing with lines so you could see the movement of it, but I didn't really wanna mark up and mess up my brand new socket set, so I put painter's tape on it, and I drew some lines on it so you guys can see the movement of it as we go through and do the testing. Now, the lines don't need to be perfect. You don't need to tell me that one is a little wavy or anything like that. They're only indicators of movement. They don't need to be 100% precise, straight, perfect in every possible way. So these are just to show you exactly what takes place when I test it with the torque wrench. And for the torque wrench, we're gonna be using my Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight, and I have it set to 90 foot-pounds. I don't know if you can see that right there or not. I darkened it up so you can see it better. But this one is set to 90 foot-pounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this guy up with this little impact wrench right here. And this guy puts out 400 foot-pounds of power. So that should be more than enough to be able to test and see how this guy performs. And if you're curious, I do have another one coming in from another brand that is supposed to put out 700 foot-pounds of power. So I'm gonna be testing that real soon. So keep an eye out for that video coming up in a short while. Anyway, so we're gonna test and see how accurate this 90 foot pound torque stick really is when put to the proper application. Now I'm gonna move you guys to a different angle so you can see exactly the movement of the lines from up above. I'm gonna give you a different view and that way you can see when I torque it and then when I test it with the torque range. So hang on for that. All right, so from this angle, you should be able to see a lot better the movement of the lines right here. When I put it on and torque it and so forth, you'll be able to see any discrepancy because first what we're going to do is tighten this to 90 foot-pounds. Then I'm going to take off the torque stick, put the torque wrench on it, and see if it stays at 90 foot-pounds or if it moves a lot or a little. A little bit is okay. There's always a little bit of discrepancy between the torque wrench and the other thing, etc., etc. But if it moves a lot that tells you that they're not accurate. So we'll see exactly what happens in a moment. First of all, let me take off the lug and loosen it so we can be sure exactly what's going on. There you go. So I took off the lug, you can see it's loose. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it with the torque stick. And there you see right there, if you wanna be certain again, that's the 90 foot pound right there. Put that on and let's tighten it up. And you see the lines really stop moving. 
that you can see them vibrate, but they're not moving any further. And there you go. Now let's test it with the torque wrench and see what happens. This guy is already set to 90 foot pounds. There you go. You saw that it barely moved, if anything at all, telling you that the torque stick is actually very accurate. You saw the lines right there, hardly any movement, telling you that there might be a little discrepancy between this torque wrench and the torque stick, but that's to be expected. So it turns out they work very, very nicely. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a very nice set of torque limiting sticks and protective sockets for rotating your tires from OMT. I think this is a very nice set. As you saw in my demonstration, having a set of torque limiter sticks can come in very handy for a DIY mechanic. Quickly and easily rotate or swap out your tires without the need for having a torque wrench or wasting precious time with that extra step of torquing your wheels after you're done. Just use the proper torque stick for your application and keep on going. As you saw in the demonstration, the torque limiter stick and the torque wrench were almost spot on with less than 1% difference between them. Even if one of the two devices is slightly off, they were well within acceptable limits. Check out their Amazon page for complete details, questions, comments, put them down below and let me know your experience using torque limiter sticks. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.